Okay, today I'm coming to you with a quick tip about dream recall. Uh, if you don't know, this is where you um, improve the ability to remember your dreams so that you can therefore remember more dreams and have more lucid dreams. So this tip is gonna be basically um, centered around your ability to focus on different like images. So normally, say, say on an average day, okay, you're gonna wake up and you'll probably like start to think about what you might have dreamt about and maybe you'll remember a few details and then it will sort of go fuzzy from there right um, if you're like uh, me when i started yeah this will be you um so you know you'll find it easy to remember a few details but then when you try and really uh, remember the the meat of the dream and all the intricate you know storylines and everything that happened uh, it will sort of go a bit fuzzy so so this video is going to be explaining how to fix that problem so when you first wake up Okay, this has to start as soon as you wake up. What you're going to want to do is write down everything you can naturally remember. Okay, so all of the things that you, you remember naturally that just sort of come to your mind as soon as you wake up. And then when you start to get a bit hazy and fuzzy, just stop. Just, just lay there in the bed, okay, and don't try and remember anything. But instead, I want you to cycle through as many random images as you possibly can. Okay, so I'm talking, you know, thinking about the, your last trip to the zoo, your last holiday, for example. Um, think about something random like a dolphin, you know, having a tea party. Anything that will trigger uh, what we, what I would call semantic images. And what this means is when you think of a particular image, for example, a cow, uh, you will usually have um, semantics attached to that image, which means things that are related to the original image, but... Um, things that you didn't think about to start with. So if I say cow, you might then say milk or farm or dairy or something like that, okay? And, and it really is an easy way of remembering more about your dreams because uh, let's say you only remember one detail. For example, you're walking down the street in a city, okay? And then everything goes fuzzy from there. Uh, what you can then do is just cycle through a load of random images, okay? Think about farms, think about, you know, zebras, all sorts of things. And one of them, maybe one or more of these images, will then trigger a semantic, which will then remind you of something that happened in the dream, and that just that tiny reminder can be enough most times to um, give you back the entire memory of that that dream scene. Okay, I've had this before when I've you know uh, cycled through images when I've woken up. Um, one of the images was a phone, for example, and just the image of a phone triggered me, uh, you know, triggered my memory of the dream that I just had where I was on the phone to the president. Okay, it's kind of random, I'm not gonna go into detail, but you get the idea, okay? You wanna think about as many random images as you can. Um, it might even help to have like a, you know, like, um, like an encyclopedia or something, a dictionary even, on by your bed. And then when you wake up and you're trying to remember your dreams, just flick through to a random page and just look at a few of the words and try and get a vivid image of, of that word in your head. Uh, and then what will usually happen is, as I say, it will just trigger random related images or, or things or ideas, okay? And this will be really, uh, you know, helpful to you to remember dreams that you can't normally remember. Um, so yeah, I hope this has helped. If it does help, uh, obviously leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. What's up guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos and you like what I do on this channel, you can actually support me using the Patreon link down in the description, or I'll put one that will come here as well. And that's patreon.com forward slash house of lucid. Uh, it's a way you can sort of support me um, with giving small monthly amounts, and it really does make a huge difference to me. Um, it allows me to keep doing these videos. Also, if you'd like to get a free lucid resource guide PDF, make sure you click the link that should be in the corner here, and I'll see you in the next video.